I'm Corinne. I'm Thomas. Happy Friday. Today is December 21st. Welcome to the Chill Spot. My name is Drake and this is Corinne. Good morning. So, Friday again, our Spotlight Friday. Mm -hmm. Today we're going to spotlight a center, yes. nursing center out yes. of Duncan, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. What center did we pick to spotlight today, Corinne? We actually picked Elk um, Crossing. I think that's a real good one. We have some active NACA members in there, yes. which is always great. They've been doing some different things around the community. What are some things they've done this year to give back? They actually reached out to one of their local schools and helped four families. And you can see from the video up there, there is a picture with them going to one of the, the families. And it was a Thanksgiving basket, I believe, to it help was, yeah. with their dinner. And they also do some other community outreach programs. The recently they were in a Christmas parade. They were in a Christmas parade. Our um, member, Miranda James, got her paint her face green in the Christmas parade. I'm gonna guess a, an L for a Grinch, which was pretty awesome. She's so Probably involved and so engaged. It's great. It is refreshing to see members in the field involved with the association. Yes, and I do believe um, a few days ago on the show, didn't she win the Believe Cup for liking and sharing? Miranda the did, actually. Yep, mm -hmm. Miranda won the Believe Coffee Cup for sharing our segments off CNA TV. That's awesome because she is a good example of believing in yourself, stepping up, not only for your center, but also for your community. And that is one way, an excellent way to get out there and promote NACA. And also, if you have an opportunity to speak in the public, you can talk about, of course, our show. Of but course. But you also have, you know, long-term care news with Dane. You have CNA TV. You have grassroots advocacy. Mm -hmm. There's quite a few on CNA TV. So that's one good way to put the word out there about NACA. Um, also, um, we're going to talk about compliments. I do. I want to, uh, I want to just everyone make sure you look up Elk Crossing, look up Miranda. Mm -hmm. They do a great job. So congratulations Elk Crossing for making our spotlight this Friday. Yes. Congratulations. And yes, we do. Um, compliments are difficult in the field. I learn working in the field, people not only find it difficult to give compliments, but it's difficult to receive them as well. Yes. Have you Do you notice that in your day-to-day -day work that you can give a compliment and some people might shy away or mm -hmm. feel awkward? So we just wanted to give some tips on, you know, what to compliment on. Corinne, what's a non-appearance compliment that you could give to one of your peers? That's a tough one because there's so many out there. There's there great ones. There is a lot out there, but there's also good ones that you can, that you can give. Um, I'm really trying to think of one to show a good, good example because there are some. I think it, one of my favorite ones, and if it's if it's truthful, your presence means a lot to our organization. Or we love having you on our team. They go a far way. I think words and non-physical compliments go a far way. I can tell you every day you have nice hair. But if right. you have nice hair, I guarantee you, you know you have nice hair because you took your time to do it. Right. That is kind of one compliment that I actually have a problem with receiving because the first thing that comes to my mind is, okay, what was wrong with my hair the other days? Mm -hmm. You know, and you get, you just kind of shrink a, a, a little yeah. bit, you know. But you can also pick up on someone about the pride in their work that they did. Yes. And if I'm not mistaken, um, I remember giving you a compliment about the Naka Edge coming you out. You did. Because that was something that you took pride in. And I wanted to make sure that I pointed that out, out to you. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that's a, that's a good one. That's a good example. one. And when you can compliment someone on their passion, you know, your passion mm -hmm. through, shows through your work. It's always good. And as humans, I'll say, we're busy. And we don't take enough time to recognize the small things in life. It's very easy to compliment someone on their appearance. Nice. Take the extra step and learn about them. What is important to them? What are they bringing to the table? And compliment the, them on that. 
Remember, some people don't receive compliments well. Right. And it's practice. It, mm -hmm. it all takes practice. It takes practice to give compliments and it takes practice to receive them. So I suggest making it part of your daily routine. Again, like I said on shows before, I like the inspirational quotes, inspirational stuff. I also make it a part of my routine to thank someone for what they do. Right. Thank you for giving your input on this. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. I just make sure I give specific comments. Not only does it make me feel great, but I believe it makes the other person feel great as well. It does. One of the problems that I actually have is giving someone a compliment is, is I hurry up and give the compliment without actually waiting for the proper Waiting moment. to see how they receive it. Right. And make sure that my body language is going to be perceived the right way and, and my tone. I don't want to come off like as that person could be saying, oh, you know, thank you. We're doing this show awesome and everything. I don't want you to feel, oh, well, she's just saying that. Right. You know, you want your compliments to come off as sincere. And I would say that give a compliment really fast and turn away is because you're not 100% comfortable with giving compliments. What just goes to show we all have room for growth. Right. I as well. I practice giving compliments every day, mm -hmm. but sometimes it may put me in an awkward situation and you will feel most awkward if you're giving a non-genuine compliment. If it's genuine, you'll feel comfortable. Yes. And I also had to learn um, over the years on giving a compliment is I try not to give one when someone is walking away from me, you know, because they do not get to see the expression on my face. They may not hear me clearly. So that could set you up for a downfall, you know? Oh, of course. And the audible part of a compliment is only part of it. Your body language matters, your voice mm -hmm. inflection, your voice tone. It all comes together as one. So just as you move forward through your day today, give someone a compliment, you know, make someone feel good, make yourself feel good. Yeah. Um, during our, we recently had Jeff uh, Wellman at the Missouri Veterans yes. Home for our preceptor course. And he was given an example of someone that he knew when he was a CNA and I I cannot think of her name, but I believe she was a, a DON, Director of Nursing, and she had this little clicky thing, like you keep track of how many steps and stuff. So she was coming into the dining room one day, and she would say, oh, you're doing that great, and click it, and she would go down to each person. So you want to try to avoid that, too. You want your compliments to be meaningful. Of you course. want them, you know, when I give you a compliment or someone else gives you a compliment, you want to feel like they they mean it, you know, that you are doing a good job, you know. Yeah. So keep all those um, points in mind when um, you do go to give a compliment and make sure that you're open, you're opening yourself up as well as to receive a compliment. Agreed. You know. So I think just remember, compliment your peers, even outside of work, compliment people. If someone does something that you like, mm -hmm. something that's great, something that makes a difference, be sure to make them aware of it because sometimes we don't know that we're going above and beyond and making a difference. So make them aware of it, I would say. Yeah. And the only um, something about compliments is some of your residents may give you a compliment. Oh, or your, always. Or your family, the family members would yeah. give you one. Um, please take the time to listen to those compliments. Um, most of the year, you don't hardly see residents' families come in unless it is around the holidays. Mm -hmm. But when they give you a compliment, they truly um, want you to realize that they do su support you and what you do for you know taking care of their family members. So please take the time and listen to those compliments as well. I agree. So I wish you all a great weekend, mm -hmm. and we will look forward to seeing you on Monday. Mm -hmm. Until then, you matter. <laughs>